Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club. Today we're going to be going over how to test your fuses the easy way. Now, in your RV, you're going to have two types of electricity. You have AC current, which is like the current you would find in your home, and the breakers for that would be looking something like this. Um, now, the DC side of your RV is going to have uh, fuses that look like these, and sometimes they blow, and when they do, that means too much current or a short has caused that little filament inside to blow out and then you're gonna have power loss. So the way that you would have to do this is usually pull these out with needle nose pliers or what have you. And using this little tool, which is a light meter, they're very inexpensive and they will save you a lot of time. Some RVs can be a little easier. I'll get into the video about how to check those. Some of them even have uh, little indicator lights when they blow if they do great, but the older ones do not. So I'll show you how to use this guy on your car, your truck, or your RV, and it's gonna save you a ton of time. Just keep in mind these are for use with DC applications, not AC applications. Okay, so don't stick these in an electrical socket, you're going to have a bad day. DC systems is totally fine, so why don't we jump out to the video of me showing you how to use that in an RV right now. Okay, so here we have a pretty standard RV fuse box. You have the DC fuses on the right and the AC fuses on the left. And this is a light meter. It's a very cheap, handy tool. And basically you're gonna to have to ground this with the other side, it has a wire and an alligator clip and you have to ground it to something. This box is painted and those screws are not grounded. So I'm gonna to have to think outside the box a little bit here. And I'm grounding it to the metal door frame of the door right there so that we can get current through it and begin our testing. Now all this does is when it, incur and when it encounters a electrical current, it lights that light up and you know that you have power. So each one of these little DC fuses has a small metal tip on the top, on the left and the right, and you can touch those and see if you have current. Now the old way would be to pull these out with needle nose pliers and you can see this fuse box actually has an LED that indicates when a fuse is blown, which is very handy. So you don't need this. This is gonna be very easy for you to figure out, but the older ones do not have this and you would have to pull out the fuse, check the filament to see if it's broken and then put it back into place and begin this entire process all over again. But with this light meter, you simply touch the little contacts on the left and right side of the fuse. If they both light up, the fuse is good. And so that is a much faster way to check all of your fuses, especially in hard to reach areas, say underneath your car dash or your truck dash or something like that. That is a really fast and easy way to check all of your fuses. And I absolutely love that. Now, the way that you would know if a fuse is bad is if you touch it to one side and it lights up and then the other side, it does not light up. Then that means there's not power going through that fuse and it is blown. And always remember when replacing a fuse to use the exact same rating on the fuse. If it's a 20 amp fuse, replace it with a 20 amp fuse, not a 25, not a 15. And uh, that way you'll be safe and you won't cause any fire hazards or anything like that. So this thing really saves you a ton of time, really inexpensive. And uh, I absolutely love using this guy uh, for anything. You got your AC breakers on the left and your DC fuses on the right. And this tool is really gonna speed things up for you. Well, there you go. This can really save you a ton of time. RV panels and fuses are usually pretty accessible and easy to get to, but with your tow vehicle, your car, your truck, sometimes they can be up under the dash and they have the little mini fuses and it can be a real time consuming project to try and get under there, pull each one and check for damaged fuses. So this absolutely saves you a ton of time. So I hope that helped you out. If it did, please like, share, subscribe. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and until the next video, thank you so much for watching and happy camping.